this is Lee with the second of the series of Hercules build videos. At this time I'm showing you how I use a hacksaw and a file in order to open the channels for the spars to go across these wooden motor blocks. The spars will uh, shouldn't be stressed going through the blocks but actually padded with some of the glue that goes around. Uh, you don't want to have any sharp corners or edges where a spar may have friction and break. Uh, as we said before, the spars uh, may not touch the back slot in the motor mount depending upon your placement and the size of motors and props that you've got, but as long as you use your Formica plate, you'll be fine. I'm now just doing the final cleanup before I glue the wood blocks into the wing. Make sure that they're sitting at exactly the right angle that I want them and the right distance so that I can position them perfectly. I'm going to be using Gorilla Glue and Gorilla Glue works better with some moisture so I put some Gorilla Glue on all the surfaces and actually spray it with a spray bottle which didn't show up for a very long there but uh, then position it, making sure that my slots for the spars are lined up so that the spars will lay in without uh, being tipped or moved uh, off their line that they were set up on. At this point I'm going to remove the metal plates from the motor mount box and uh, it will help in later construction. These wires help to tie the spars together. I bend them to the angle that uh, each of the spars come together at. The uh, angle will help tie those spars together in such a way that they won't separate. I use my soldering iron and slightly enlarge the hole right in those areas because I will have both a piece of the shock cord and the metal uh, wire there in that place. Now, it's hard to see the white string here, but there is a uh, white shock cord string that I put underneath the wire. Then going from the middle out, I add some glue to the uh, shock cord and to the wire and glue it into place. If you try going in, it will pull the shock cord towards the center. So going out from center, out from center, it's that easy, guys. But uh, just put that in, put it down, and catch the angle with the glue gun. Now this front angle is a little bit different. The Because it's bent downwards I only glue that front angle up to the separation with the main wing panel and I pin it in place, let it cool and I'm not even going to worry about the other uh, part of the spar until after I'm sure that's set and won't move. Now. Uh, I like to put a little extra glue over the top knowing that this is going to take a lot of force and now I'm going to glue the rest of the spar in. It doesn't seem like long but it actually was a long wait because of the speed of the video that it made appear. This is my favorite point for burning my fingers also, the glue is hot and so uh, adding I think this is my fourth stick of glue so far. But I put glue into the slot, press it down, pin it in place. This actually goes pretty fast. It's easier the more of them you do. But the fiberglass is extremely strong and much stronger than carbon is under the same thing. And then just putting a little bit of glue over the top to fill the corners and the edges. And uh, usually I also will take a tongue blade or some other straight edge and just work that just to make sure that the maximum contact of glue and foam and spar is being made. Center spar on this plane is pretty easy. There's not much flex on the spar, so pinning down those edges is enough to get the spar in its right position. This is the exact same process on the bottom, with the exception we're also looking at where the spars are going to cross the motor mount blocks. Bend those wires, get them to the right angle. Then I'm going to slightly enlarge 
the slots where those are going to go so that the spar has room to sit on top. Then taking my shock cord, as you can see how scientifically it's cut, put it in, put the wire down on top, going from the middle out, I will glue those in place. Now we're going to put the main spars in. I'm actually using black spars in this. I had several people ask me why I switched and they're the same spars. It's just I, for the sake of the video, you can't see what I'm doing with the white spars. Make sure that it's glued into the motor mount. Put some glue there in the slot where the spar is going to go. Bottom is easier to do than the top. And the center spar is a little bit long here, so I'm going to carefully trim it off. Put my glue across and press it into place. Putting a little extra glue where it crosses the motor mount. Thank you for watching.